Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming up with an issue when you're trying to shut down your computer and you know when your screen starts turning blue and it says closing one app or however many apps and shutting down and you keep coming across this app is preventing shutdown but you don't see any apps actually appearing underneath of it this tutorial will be for you so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it and we're gonna start so just cancel out of that or restart your computer or whatnot you wanna get back to your normal desktop mode environment here and you wanna go and left click on the start button to open up the start menu and just type in regedit so r-e-g-e-d-i-t Best man, check on back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now, before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you make a backup of it. So go ahead and left click on the computer folder up at the top. So right here, just go left click on the computer and then left click on file, export. Save this. That's whatever you want, doesn't really matter what the file name is, just want to make sure save as type, registration files or registry files is selected, export range should be selected to all. Usually the date in which you're making the backup is what I'd recommend for file name, and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. Go ahead and click on save, and then if you ever needed to go back to the previous version of the registry, just would go up left on the file tab, and then left click on import. So very simple. So once you've gone ahead and done that, now you want to go expand the HK current user folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Now that you've done that, do the same thing for the control folder. Now that you've done that, do the same thing for the control panel folder. Now there should be a desktop folder. Go ahead and left click on that one time. And now on the right side, you want to click in a blank area. So right click, left click on new and then left click on string value you want to name this string value auto end tasked which it should be plural so all one word so you want to type in A and auto should be capital so I'm going to have it on the screen here as well so auto end tasked and you can see exactly how I spell it as well so auto end task and there should be an S on the end of task hit enter on your keyboard once you're done with that double click on it for value data, you want to type the number 1 in this value data field, so if there's a 0 or any other number, delete it, type the number 1, so don't spell it out, just type the number 1, and then left one OK. Once you're done with that, close out of here, restart your computer, and that should be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.